Well, looky here, I got a parrot, I got a shoot, and I'm gonna panic. Hey there, my name is Brian from the Guys Who Play Games, back with some more A2XT and Analog Funk. I'm not playing A2XT Analog Funk, but I'll tell you what, uh, I sure did find something. Okay, so this is like the purple parrots of the original game. Basically, you can't flap upwards, but you can slow yourself down, and you have the advantage of being a smaller hitbox in this. Although, then again, on the other hand, because this is a Game Boy, and I'm not on the Super Nintendo where the hitboxes were super generous, uh, I might actually have a bigger hitbox, because Squawk's big fat face is really gigantic. Uh, and I also have the disadvantage where this Squawks probably doesn't bounce. And Donkey Kong Country 2, Mr. Parrot with the Kongs attached to him, sure likes to bounce, so, uh... Let's hope this is a thing. Uh-oh. Did I pick the wrong pathway? Probably not. Well, that guy wasn't moving very much at all, now was he? In fact, I have to wonder if life sucks. Yep, life sucks. What am I even talking about at this point? I don't know. I think I'm a little... Ah. Oh, well, there you go. I had a feeling something was up there. I could tell because I had intuition. Don't you turn around on me. But now, whenever I see one of these porcupine dudes whose name escapes me at the moment, I'm going to jump right on top of his stupid face and the game's gonna spawn me down here, and I'm gonna be really sad. And it's gonna happen to be a midpoint right there, so I'm gonna have to do it all over again. And I got the DK coin, so that's good. And I almost fell to my death, but the game designers realized that that was a thing. And they were like, well, let's make sure that doesn't happen. And, and life was good. I also can't shoot out coconuts, in case you're wondering. Or eggs, if you're, you know, if you roll that way. <laughs> Yeah, Squawks is some kind of weirdo, isn't he? I mean, what kind of parrot doesn't shoot an exit from his mouth? A purple one! Except he's not really purple in this. He's more yellow right now because of palettes and all that jazz. So, um, is there secrets around here? I don't know, there's two different pathways. I hope one of them doesn't lead to an eventual god find or something. Ah! Ah! There's the end. Uh-huh. Well, uh, this way doesn't have any bananas, so obviously this is the right way, right? Right? Well, wrong. I didn't get anything for it. I got some bananas there, at least. I'm back to two lives, which is really nice. Ah! Alright. Ah! Holy! <laughs> that was. Alright, kudos to you, Gay. That was funny. Oh! Whoa! That was an accident. I was holding the jump button. And it worked out. I don't tell me it's. Some of these bonuses are kind of lackluster, you know? It's just like. Well, there you go. You picked up a bunch of barrels. You did it. <laughs> Oh no, I wanted the G! Well, shoot. I also thought it was the end of the level, so... I guess not. <laughs> Ouch! My lungs, they burn. So now what? Um... Well, there's this target. Probably leads to the end of the level. I mean, just a guess. Alright, so let's save here. Just uh, being appropriate, drop a safe state, it's, uh, it's more of a precaution than anything. I mean, I'm not going to say anything, but you know what these old-time games are like? They're kind of a thing. Can I get parroted twice? No, I can't even reach him. So what was it I missed? I don't quite remember. But hopefully I remember in time to not get screwed. Oh yes, it was when I found that sign, and I was like, yeah, and then I jumped right on top of a porcupine, whose name happens to be Spiny, I remember now. Not very creative, but then again, it's a porcupine, what do you expect? <laughs> it's not that I know this level, I can probably rush it, because, uh, Game Boy, you know. Wee 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 wee! Okay, so this time, when I approach the porcupine, I give it a second to not kill me. 
See, that's kind of a jerk move. It's like, it goes off screen here. Now it's just like, can I wait long enough? Well, I can't tell you if I can, because it eventually it hit... Darn you, game! I don't even have to kill everything! Ah. Okay, that's everything. So, uh, I guess I'll save again. Only appropriate, right? Yeah? Yes? Yes? No? Ah, shut up. So, uh, let me drop a save state again. And we're going to a level that's gonna involve Squitter, I'm guessing. That's gonna be fun, isn't it? Oh, man. Squitter and his controls. I hear Squitter has even worse controls in this game, so that's fun. Uh, I haven't played the game in a while. It's actually been like a couple months since I last recorded, because, uh, you know, why not? Also, Ghost Rope. Ooh, spooky, spooky, spooky. This guy. He's a real barrel of laughs! Ho ho! Oh, that, that was terrible. I hate myself. That was just atrocious, really. I should be ashamed of myself for insinuating a video game. Oh, hey, Clampon. How you going, Clampon? Your name's not even Clampon, you're Clomp. Oh, here's Squitter. Uh, so... On one hand, Squitter... You're a real pain in the ass to navigate. But on the other hand, your webs at least move faster than they do in Donkey Kong Country, too. Although, whether that's a good thing or not is really left up to the user. Because in the end, this could actually suck. Whoa! A lot. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Controller! 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 Ooh! Oh, so Nico's really far into the wall here. It's probably not on purpose, because my web actually didn't hit him. So, uh. Uh. I wonder how long this webbing lasts for normally. Also, I really hope there aren't secrets down there, because man, that would suck. That would really suck. <laughs> oh boy. On the bright side, there isn't much verticality going on here. It's just sort of uh, create a web and jump occasionally. There's no going down, at least. Man, that would suck if I had to go down. So, in case you don't know what the controls for Squitter are, I believe I've mentioned them before, but I might as well tell you tell them again. Basically, in order to create a web platform, you first have to press B on a Game Boy, and then you have to press SELECT to turn that web projectile into a platform. And if you don't know what an original Game Boy is like, that is not exactly something that isn't exactly the most awkward thing in the freaking world. Luckily, I don't have a Game Boy right now. I'm running this on a controller, which makes it so much better. And I'm hoping that there's nothing up here, which makes me sad. Oh, no, no, no! Um... So that was a thing of bananas. I don't know why. I guess it just was. Um... Wait, why did I... Oh, I guess I was supposed to go up. Well, shoot, I was just going straight, man. That wasn't very well hidden, because the level's been like that as a whole. It's just been going straight and occasionally up, but never down. And there was no bananas to mark me going down, so I just went straight, and there was a thing. Although I have to admit, the fact that I haven't seen any bonuses yet kind of scares me. Huh. I don't know what to say to that. But I did get every Kong letter, and that's good. Okay, that was pretty obvious. I didn't get it right away, because I was like, doo 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 but I mean, come on. If there's nothing up here, I'm going to be real disappointed in this game, you know? There's bananas, a coin... Wait, what? Okay, okay, whoa, 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 let's, uh... Hold that phone for a second. And, uh, jump immediately into a pit and lose, like, a minute of... A good couple minutes of progress. Well, isn't that great? Thankfully, that didn't hurt me like I was kind of expecting it to. Okay, so, uh, let's go up. By up, I mean, let's 
Go! That was stupid of me. Although I couldn't tell, holes in my controller. Like, I was sliding for a bit. Oh, I'm not even my controller. That might just be Squitter's slippy slidey like a spidery dude. You know? He is a spider. I mean, spiders tend to be. Not slippery at all. What am I talking about? They create walls! And create sticky webs. Why would they be slippery? I don't know. But I do know that this DK coin is not hard to find at all. But thankfully, because this game has no bonuses at the end of the levels, it's not like it was in the original. You know what web was in the original? You know how you had to get the DK coin? Well, I'll tell you, it was an evil little thing. Basically, in order to get it, you had to, um, get to the end of the level, and at the end of the level, there was a target. This target had a, uh, thing. Well, and by thing, I mean the DK coin. And that DK coin was available for, like, a split second. And if you missed getting the DK coin, you had fun restarting the entire level again. It was evil, but really, it wasn't that hard at all. Like, it was basically just, can you have good timing? The timing wasn't very hard. I don't think I've ever really missed it. On the other hand, I have to sneeze real bad right now. Hooey. Unfortunately, that sneeze probably isn't going to happen, which kind of disappoints me. Oh, well, I was Dixie that whole time. Uh, tch, 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 tch. I got everything. That's good. So let's head back and save. Kong College! Whoa! I'm at 67%, so that's good. There's Funky's Flights. There's Creepy Crow. Creepy Crow! What do you like, Creepy Crow? You exactly the same? I don't know. You're just sitting there. He's not very ghost like. He's just sort of a thing. Also, I can roll these mini neckies, so, uh, I'll just keep doing that. Also, he drops an egg, and I hit you with an egg, and he's not doing anything, and he's just sitting there, so I'm going to keep rolling these neckies, and I hit him with the egg again, and he's flying back up. Oh, it's two hits, okay. Whoa! Is this going to keep coming? Yeah, it is. Oh, shoot. Well, this is intense. Actually, not really. I just have to keep going up a little bit and then rolling back and forth. See, timing is everything in video games. No! Oh, thank god. Woo! Woo! Indeed. Okay, so more neckies. I can keep rolling them. That's good. Whoa! Okay, so now I have to jump, but it's still exactly the same. Just stay away from the left side of the screen, which isn't too hard because the last neckie pops over here to the right. Although, oh, that was it? Seriously? You know what, I have to say, the most annoying thing about something like that is the fact that, like, I feel like the other couple of bosses, like, especially Cleaver. Cleaver was actually difficult, especially that early on. And then we have the Creepy Crow, who just dies instantly from, like, four hits that would just literally just keep on rolling. Also, we got Clubba, and he has a kiosk over here. And I guess that means there's 47 creme coins in the game because he wants every one of them. If you want to access this, the secret world, you gotta get everything. So that's a thing. And uh, K Rules Keep. What's the first level? Arctic Abyss. Huh, let me check Bandicam. 14 minutes. Well, I think this is probably a good time to end it off. See you guys later.